Hello, Reformers, and welcome to a special feature of Good Robot. Now, this is a game about a good robot, among many bad ones, and it's a roguelike with some fast-paced shooter elements as well as some upgrades and, oh yes, the most important feature of all, it has hats. It has hats. Your little robot can wear a hat and there are many different ones to choose from. So, let us begin. And of course I started a game just to make sure everything was working correctly with my software and we're now going to be heading on in. So this is our good robot right here. And we have a primary weapon and we have a secondary weapon. Now I'm actually unsure what we're using right now but it seems we have an ion pulse or an ion cannon or something like that. Now as you can see, look at this, you can press space or return to take a look at some hats. Now the first hat is free, oh yes. And there's a tip of the hat, a pyrocore hat will sacrifice itself to make sure nothing will hurt you. So we could go for a Pope hat, a Viking helmet, a necromancer hat, a turban, an angel wings, oh yes, angel wings, and a samurai helmet. I think a samurai helmet this time around will look pretty nice. Oh yes, there we go. So now let us make our way down. We're gonna be fighting a huge amount of robots. So let's try and make sure that we don't take too much damage, shall we? Here we go, here they are, oh no. Okay, so we have to collect these green things here. Oh, hello there. An ion repeater. So this is the ion repeater instead of the spark plug blaster. So you can swap out weapons whenever you get a random drop. And obviously this one, I think I'm actually going to use quite a bit more because it does a lot more damage. Oh, and we actually already have a high explosive grenade launcher, which replaces our previous weapon. Now, obviously, as you can see, this lobs it in some sort of curve. I'm not entirely sure if I like that, to be honest. So I'm going to take the static bolt again, I feel. I've already lost my hat, unfortunately. And the reason for that was because I got hit by some of these guys' weapons. Yeah, got to be really careful here. Some of it is a little bit bullet hellish. I wouldn't say it is very much bullet hell because they are moving very, very slowly, the projectiles. And you can actually avoid them very easily. You do have a health bar. You don't die in one hit, which is actually really nice because, yeah, I, I don't particularly like dying in one hit. Ooh, okay, so that's a very new weapon. I have not seen anything like that before. That requires you to be very close to the opponent, however. So maybe I'd like the ballistic missiles instead. So as you can see, look at that. I can just fire these ballistic missiles off into nothing. I do quite like the static bolts still, though. It seems pretty nice. It travels in a straight line. It has no recoil or anything, so it's pretty cool. So let's just try and destroy as many of these guys as we can. We need to destroy their spawn areas as well. Now, of course, you have no map as far as I'm aware. I've taken a look at the controls, and there doesn't appear to be a map or anything. So you just have to explore. And there are very, very many procedurally generated levels to explore, which is actually very nice. Now, here's the upgrade station. Yes, we just have a thousand to be able to do that. We could get an enemy scanner, but unfortunately, we do not have enough. So I'm going to actually go for Rate of Fire, I think. Rate of Fire right now would be very, very useful because our current weapon is actually pretty powerful as it is. So attack power might not be worth it. So let's go for some Rate of Fire upgrades there. And as you can see, it's shooting a little bit faster. I like that. So let's go into the new area here. I'm actually unsure where I'm going, but we do get to pick a new hat. It is going to cost a little bit, though. I'm going to go for the top hat, of course. Oh, yes. Look at that. So now, let us see. Of course, I could only afford the top hat. I actually find it rather amusing how the top hat is cheaper than the other hats. You would assume that the other hats would be cheaper than the top hat, but whatever the case, let's just destroy as many of these respawners as we can and maybe be accurate enough to kill that one last enemy. Yes, that would be good, wouldn't it? Okay, so let's destroy that. Destroy this, and we're going to try and avoid many of the enemy's fires, yes, and shooters and missiles, and oh, hello there. I'm going to use my ion pulse, okay, never mind. Apparently my primary weapon is really good, and I'm actually unable to use my secondary at all because it's just so good. Okay, come on, destroy that. Oh, oh, careful. Sometimes the enemies can hide in the environment a little bit, so you've got to be very aware of that. And it does get somewhat confusing at times because, of course, you do have quite a lot of stuff on the screen at once. But we are earning a lot of cash, and I'm going to try and get some better defenses, maybe some more movement speed, something like that, because, well, that's the thing. Getting defense, that really does help, but 
If you are injured and you decide to upgrade your shield, you can actually restore your HP to full. And as far as I'm aware, that's the only way you can restore HP unless you pick up something from an enemy. So, yeah, I think that's actually a pretty cool mechanic. Ooh, what's in here? I don't think I've ever gone into a red door. Have I? I'm actually unsure. Incredible savings? Oh, hello there. Provides replacement in case of theft or malicious destruction. So we could buy a warranty if you wanted to, and obviously I don't have enough money for that, but that's pretty cool. Of course, you can get shield repair, which will mean that you restore your health. So that's another way to do it, I guess. And now we can get other things here. Pew pew. We can get penetrating nails for when you need something to fasten. Okay, that's great. Crystal cannon rocket pod. Well, I can only afford the argon blaster. So I think I'll go for the pew pew. Why not? There we go. Now, oh, hello there. Oh, that seems pretty cool. Look at that. Whoa, okay, that is nice. So we can actually fire multiple bolts at once. Let's go into the red door. And we can pick another hat. Oh yes, unfortunately I don't have that much money. I'm gonna go for the propeller beanie because we have to fly. Oh, it's not, it's not spinning. No, it's not working. Oh, well, we'll just have to use our own propellers then, I suppose. Okay, so it does a little bit less damage than our previous weapon, but it is firing multiple bolts, and it does fire at a lot faster rate. Okay, so I'm just going to try and pick up everything I can, try and avoid these guys. There we go. Okay, now things do get a lot more fiendish as time goes on, of course. You are going to be fighting many more robots at once and I'm always very very worried about that because well in my other game I actually ran into I don't even know it was about 20 robots at once and they were all firing at me and I was like oh no no I can't I can't deal with it it's way too much way too much so okay let's try out our iron cannon see how much that damage that does did that do two damage surely not it did one? No way. There's no way it did one damage. Pretty sure what's happening there is... Oh, okay, never mind. We have an enemy that is going to be firing things at us, but failing because we are destroying his missile as he is firing it. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, you can actually fire ballistic missiles and various things out of the sky before they even reach you, which is really, really great as a kind of defense. So good offense is good defense, as they say. So yeah, that, that is actually a pretty nice tactical edge that you can employ, of course, but yeah, now I'm just a little bit worried that because that was a boss, I guess the red door signifies a boss, so that's good to know, but I guess that, oh, oh, hello, special offers. Oh, well, unfortunately everything has gone up in price now, so I'm unable to do anything because of course I spent it all on that new weapon so there is a little bit of choice to be made as well I don't know whether I want to go in these because this one is gonna have a huge amount of enemies and this one's gonna have fewer I suppose fewer enemies so that's okay but let's go in here I think this is a shop or it's a hat store okay let's get a necromancer hat why not we're gonna drop the propeller beanie for now okay so let's see is this just is this just a store no, I'm pretty sure. Nope, nope. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. That's pretty bad, but at least we killed all of them. And maybe we can kill the spawner as well. There we go. That's great. And, okay, let's destroy some of these question marks. Ah, so, okay. The question marks actually contain random things. So, they can contain enemies, or they can contain maybe power-ups? I'm actually unsure about that. I think maybe the ones I got just now contained enemies, but maybe the question mark just indicates that you don't know how many enemies are going to be in there. Yep, that's what it is. So, yeah, no power-ups for me, unfortunately. Now, do notice that the line of sight actually makes a huge difference in this game, because, as you see, I'm moving here, and all those power-ups and all, the, all that money disappears as I move behind the environment. So you can't actually see everything. You can't actually see everything like other other roguelikes, you're actually going to be seeing most of what is on the map, but this relies quite heavily on line of sight, so you do have to bear that in mind. And I'm going to be very careful here, because I don't really want to get spawned upon. So, is that it? Is that all that there's here? Yes, it appears so. Okay, well, we're going to head back. And we're going to see what's going on. I, I do actually want to continue firing, because I never know when I'm actually going to hit something like this guy, for example. Yes, there we go. 
Okay, we're making some pretty good bank right now because we are eliminating a lot of enemies. I'm going to try and use this again and see. It does one damage? Does it seriously do one damage? That's not right. It's a secondary weapon. How can it do only one damage? I'm sure that's not right. I'm sure I'm just using it incorrectly or something, but yes, let's just see. No, that is one damage, but it destroyed it in one hit, so I assume maybe it's just a one-hit kill thing? I actually don't know, but we're going to find out as time goes on, of course. Let's just destroy all these spawners. I think these are spawners at least, or they're generators of some sort. Okay, now let's, let's just fire that. Yeah, it seems to just kill everything in its path in one hit, so maybe that's the case. And maybe it doesn't even need to do any more damage. I am taking a lot of damage here from these guys. Yeah, but as you see, the line of sight makes a huge difference because you can't see any of the projectiles coming toward you. And, well, that's a big thing, isn't it? Oh, oh, yes, have to avoid it. Thank you. Okay. So now, let's break that open. Any units? No. No, don't need to worry. There we are. Okay, anything else? No. Okay. So, let's continue upward. Hmm. I think I may have just come from the upside here, so I'm actually going to go over this way instead. Yes, here we go. Hello there. I'm going to fire my things at you. Yes. All the things. Throw all the things at them. Including the kitchen sink. Thank you. There we are. Okay, so I think that is it. Yeah, I think all of the areas, at least horizontally to us, are perfectly fine. So now, maybe we can exit. I'm actually unsure where that would be. Let's see. Now, if you're already interested in this game, you can check out the description. There is a link there, and you can click on that, of course, and that will take you to the Steam Store page. And if you so desire, you you may even like to purchase it. Oh, my, oh, of course, of course. As soon as I say that, I get shot. Wonderful. Oh, plasma cannon. Okay, so that's... Ooh, that's nice. That has a lot of recoil, though. As you can see, I'm not moving. And there you go. There's the recoil. Look at that. It just pushes you back because it is just so powerful. Really nice to see a powerful weapon now. Hopefully, it's going to do a little bit more damage. Maybe the other thing was a one-hit kill, but I'm unsure about that right now. So, I guess we'll just head back up because apparently there isn't another entrance. So, I guess what this is is just a farming area so that you can pick up... Yes. Yes, exactly. Please allow other robots to experience this unit's haberdashery services. Yes, that's good. That is very good indeed. Oh, oh okay. So, apparently, I can't exit from here. Okay, well, I'm going to have to find the exit then, I guess. Okay, so I found the exit. I'm actually a little bit, a little bit perplexed why I did not find it beforehand, because it's literally just up here. And there's a huge amount of stuff that you can actually do here as well. There seems to be an upgrade station. Yes, you can get a sound wave blaster... Blow out eardrums at short range without ever waking the neighbors. Oh, yes. Uh, well, I think maybe we want to go for a shield repair right now, but I don't know because right here we seem to be just above half HP. There's a boss up there, and there's harder enemies up here, and then there's a huge amount of horde enemies over there. So I guess we'll just do the boss. Why not? Let's do the, let's do the hardest one. Why not? Okay, so hats. We need hats. We need a dunce cap because, yes... That's probably going to curse me now. It's probably going to curse me and forever be known as the thing that killed me. It's a D for dying. Yes, very much so. Okay, oh, oh, okay, let's be careful, let's be careful. Now this is the bullet hell sort of style thing that I was talking about beforehand, yes. It is not particularly bullet hellish, but it is quite reminiscent of that. It doesn't really focus on too much of the bullet hell elements, but I gotta say it is very fast paced. So you need to be on your toes and try and avoid as much as you can. Oh, these things are definitely the worst. Oh yes, there we go. There we go. Very nice. Okay, so if we can find the boss, that would be great. I'm just gonna go around maybe the outside of the map. That might actually lead us to where we need to go. Yes, they're all shutting down, of course. Oh, oh, hello there, a quality assurance worm. Okay, well, yes, that is definitely going to make a huge difference to the quality assurance. <laughs> oh my, what a menacing looking thing. Okay, 
Come on now. Okay, so it has a pretty standard pattern by the looks of things. It just keeps going back and forth. And we haven't even lost our hat yet, so we, we haven't even gotten hit. Which I've got to say is actually pretty impressive. If I do say so myself, if I can toot my own horn there. And then we lost our hat at the very end. Well, that's unfortunate. Ooh, a rocket pod. What does that do? Okay, so that fires a lot of rockets. But I actually do appreciate the plasma cannon a little bit more. So I'm going to be keeping that. Let's head downward. Ooh, yes. Here we go. So what do we want? Compacts, superheats, and launches garbage out of your homeowner's district. Oh, yes. How wonderful. Okay, I think I might actually go for the rivet gun. Let's go for the rivet gun and let's go for a shield repair because, well, I'd like to be full HP. Let's see. Oh, my. Okay, so that's some big recoil right there. Let's see how good that actually is. Let's get another rate of fire increase and let's actually get... Hmm. I'm actually unsure. Okay, let's get the attack power. You can buy some other things here. Like, did you just see just before the targeting laser came up, it was actually a compass? And I'm pretty sure the compass will tell you where the exits are, potentially. Obviously, I can't get that now, but well. We're going to go for the targeting laser just to have a look. Ooh, there's a targeting laser. That's pretty cool. Okay, that's nice. I like that. So we can actually see where we're shooting now, apart from with the crosshair, of course. But yeah, there we go. So, okay, we can get another hat, but yeah, I guess we'll just get... Let's see. Oh, I'm three off the crown. That's super sad. Let's go for the cowboy hat then. Yes, here we go. Okay, that does eight damage. That's actually pretty powerful. That's pretty nice. But very slow, so you need to be quite accurate with it. But we are technically a sniper now. We've turned ourselves into a sniper of sorts. So I suppose that's... Oh my! Wow, that's a lot of units. Okay. I'm kind of unfair. Yes. I'm kind of unfair by shooting these guys from outside of their vision, but... Well, that's what they get for being so creepy. Creepy looking, yes. There we go. Okay, wow. Okay, these guys really mean business. Ah, yes, we have actually entered Chapter 1, if you could believe that, yeah. So, Chapter 1 is definitely going to introduce a couple harder enemies here. I'm just making sure that I'm not getting shot from anywhere. Ah, oh, here we go. We actually do have <laughs> a cash magnet. Oh, okay, why not? Let's buy that. So, yes, the compass finds the nearest exit. Perfect for movies, malls, apocalyptic, tactical emergencies. Yes, this game does have the dystopian comedic feel going on with it, which I really do appreciate. So, it's kind of nice. Now, let's see. Ah, uh, we're in a new area. Is that a hat? Yeah, that is a hat. Okay, let's get a pirate hat. Yes. Pirate hat. Okay, so let's see. Are we going to be fighting? Ooh, whoa, okay. That is... Pretty menacing. Okay, so is there anything else along here? Yep, there's no doubt going to be quite a few. Whoa, look at that. That is a huge enemy. Need to be very careful. There's actually two of them in actual fact. Ooh, the plasma cannon just ate them for breakfast. Well, that's, that's good for him, I guess. I don't really want to eat these things for breakfast if I can at all help it. Well, there we go. Okay, oh, no, there we go. Come on. Shoot him, shoot him. Look at that, the cash we're making is absolutely amazing. But there it is, that is a very small look at Good Robot, and if you like the core gameplay loop, loop so far, you're actually going to be getting a huge amount more upgrades and various other weapons and things like that over the time that you have with the game. So yes, check it out in the description. The Steam Store page is right there, and it does actually, I believe, have a discount on the first week of it being released. So, I thank you very much for watching this special feature, and I will see you next time.